I just finished the Retrotopia, which was a premiere uh, in my hometown, Stockholm, and uh, we will bring that abroad in Europe, in Frankfurt, in Bamberg, in lots of places, also in America. And the project Retrotopia, it's my, I think, my third big project in the last five years, uh, and it's about uh, how we look back, how we recreate our history, and. Uh, what are we going to do now? What, what are we going to do now with the classical music, with, uh, with the way we perform, with the repertoire and everything? And I think it, it was one of my most interesting projects because it, it belongs to the history, of course, because I'm playing the bit of Mozart and all this kind of revolutionary repertoire that was in the past. That project is, is close to my heart right now because I just premiered it last week. And it's going to be exciting to see what that journey it's going uh, it's going to do i would say it is interesting because it it's belongs also it's everything is connected because if you look at my way of performing and the way that i have tried to go in different direction it's it's always i that question is always to me now i have i played basically all over the place all scenes in, in the whole world i play the whole repertoire uh, many, rep most of the repertoire, hundreds of times. So what shall I do now? And, and that's one of the questions. And that also connects to my longing and my inspiration for, for also expanding the limits and the boundaries for the instruments. So that's why, why, one of the reasons that I'm so into now. Okay, so I, I open up a little bit for the, for, the, for the stage performance. I push the boundaries for what you can do with an instrument for what you can do with a repertoire when it comes to working with composers. And now I'm trying to also do the same with the instrument. I'm, I'm development, education and so on is really important to talk about because some of us, or not some of us, but some of our system are a bit old-fashioned in the way of, of helping people. And I think to be creative is the most important now for, for, for us and for the kids. How we look back, how we recreate our history and uh, what we going to do now. What, what are we going to do now with the classical music, with, uh, with the way we perform, with the repertoire and everything. We should always ask, why do we do this? And what is the reason why I want to play the clarinet so well? What shall I do with all my tools? Why do I want this? fantastic instrument to do this and that. So I think the effect that you have in the future is also the effect that you have to the history, because we are affecting the history all the time, whatever we do. When I play the Mozart concerto, I affect the history. I'm, I'm recreating the music history. How do you look at yourself as a musician and as a clarinet player? Not, not so much as a musician, because that's, that's another story, but as a, as a wind player and as a sound maker, how do you produce your sound? I see myself sometimes with the instrument. It's a lot about the phrasing, the color, the shape of the sound. Everything is like sculpturing in sound. And I think Buffet uh, is the perfect instrument because that has everything from the, the line between silent and sound until the biggest fortissimo. And every, every color was in the instrument. You can really, really uh, work with that kind of sculpturing in that instrument, which I love. And I, when I thought about it, I, I like the, the way of looking at it for me. Instead of thinking, okay, we are clarinet blowers, we blow and play, which is not so interesting, but to, to, to really to shape and to be aware that you can do, which the clarinet itself is such a fantastic tool for that. You can really shape it from, from the thinnest line up to a, a enormous riches, richness. The purpose of the, the foundation is, is, is definitely to support the fantastic generation that comes now with the great players and uh, also players who can't afford their, their instrument themselves. And I have a lot of interest for this foundation, which I also think is fantastic that Buffy is supporting so generously uh, with instruments and uh, all the kinds of support that they give me for this foundation. Uh, and I think we can do a great job for all, all kinds of big talents that maybe cannot afford their instruments or music schools that, that doesn't have uh, support enough. So we have an important work to do and I can see the need all over the world actually. I already have lots of interests. I'm very inspired because I can feel the interest. I can also feel that people are interested to be involved in the foundation itself. 
So I'm looking forward for starting to work with this foundation and I think it will be inspiring work for me and also a network. I think it will be a network through the whole world uh, around the, the globe. It's about uh, being an inspiration for young, young performers. It is about creating something that will connect to the future in, in a more concrete way. We should not educate ourselves out of our creativity. We should feed our creativity. From the start, when we all have it, from, from the childhood, when we all are, are artists, and through the whole life.